Well, today's the day. Today is the day that Charlie is going to learn something new at the shop. Besides Sandy. What do you think of that, Charlie? Can you stand over here, bro, please? How do you like working for Pete, bud? I like it. A lot of people out there think I treat you like shit, Charlie. Nah. Do I treat you like shit? No. Nah. Do I spit on you? Do I throw you in the gutter? You're wearing one of my fucking shirts. What else you want, bud? <laughs> Shop, I figure it's time to move up a ladder, move up the step. Right. What do you think? Sounds good to move me. Move up a step uh, and learn how to paint. I'm, I'm even going to buy you your own spray mask, bud, okay. to make sure that you're safe and secure. And uh, that's money out of my pocket, Charlie. Okay. For free, for you. Free. Appreciate what did I tell you about that free word, bud? Okay. Usually it means you get fucked, right? <laughs> yeah. But we ain't going to get fucked, are we? Nope. Well, we're moving on. Charlie's never painted anything like this, but you have used spray guns to paint in the house. Trim. Yep. Trim and doors. And doors. The basically the same kind of spray gun. Yeah. So you basically know the setup of how to set the gun up. Yeah. You know, you know how to set your pattern, right? You know what a pattern is. Yeah. You know your uh, air flow, air mixture, and your uh, volume, so you don't get runs and all that shit. Why are your eyes all bloodshot, bro? You're smoking something. <laughs> Those that fucking cigars you're smoking. They're so strong. Okay, so we got a set of wheels here. Now these wheels belong to our buddy up at Oliver's Automotive. And uh, we'll be getting a little video with our buddy at Oliver's Automotive because see, he wants it for free, okay? That, that's the way it goes here, it's free, see? He comes down here, sends me a couple jobs and thinks he gets the buddy deal on a set of fucking wheels, okay? So we'll be talking to Daryl up at Oliver's about that situation when the wheels are done. Now as far as Charlie goes, do you think he can paint these, Charlie? Now, if you look right here, we see some runs in the primer. You know why that is? Because this is the back side of the wheel. We don't give a fuck. Okay. No, we did not prime. We didn't prime these. These are how they brought them to us. What you want to do is paint the back side of the wheel, the inside, the back side. Okay, now it's going to be kind of hard to spray because we don't want that wheel to fall up. Okay. So we might have to move this table where it bounces up. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to paint all the back side of the wheels first, Charlie. Okay. And we got limited supply of paint. Do not fucking waste that paint. Okay. I'm gonna mix the paint for you. You don't know how to mix paint, do you? No. Okay. Are you nervous about your hands twittering around? <laughs> so we're gonna paint them wheels. You're gonna paint the back side. You're gonna let them dry for about 15, 20 minutes. And then you're gonna come in here. Since these are the back side, we don't give a shit. You're gonna flip them over. Okay. But we're not gonna get them where it's all shitty. You know, we can always touch it up with a brush. He ain't really particular about them, that's why I'm letting you paint them. And they're just acrylic enamel black. Then, when you paint the front side, so you'll already have practice on painting this, bud. Okay. So when you do the front side, those should be high gloss, shiny, brand new. Because the back side, they're going to get dirty, but the front side, that's what everybody sees, bud. Okay? Come on over here, because let's show everybody what we're going to do with this. Now, what Charlie's going to use... He's gonna use the good old number seven Bink spray gun. When he said he's familiar with that, do you actually have some guns that look like that? No, you're used to. Yeah. You're used to. Okay, so you know how to use that. This is our air right here. You're gonna keep that wide open. This is your uh, fluid mixture. This is your pattern. Okay, on wheels, I like to keep the pattern where it's in the middle, not all the way out, not all the way in, see? That way you don't get no runs. And then, of course, I'll set the fluid mixture for you, Charlie. Okay. okay? So what we're gonna use on these wheels is inexpensive, okay, acrylic enamel. Now this paint here, you can purchase this paint, this inexpensive acrylic enamel, for about 28 bucks a gallon. And it's real good. This is got Gillespie brand, and this is the brand I use because when you get done with it, it's uh, rock hard and it's super high gloss. Now we don't know if this is high gloss because we actually mixed a couple gallons together because this is a buddy deal. So then Daryl brought the, of course you need reducer with that. Now this is medium slow reducer, which means the weather's probably, I'd say it's gonna be about 85, not, about 80 degrees when Charlie paints. So 
uh, what the deal is on reducers, I'm going to let everybody know, is there's different temperature reducers. Now what that reducer does, it makes the paint dry at a certain, certain time so you don't have runs, okay? Or so it doesn't solvent pop, or so it doesn't do other stuff. A uh, medium reducer is good for spring type weather. Okay, slow reducer, which is hot, people call it hot reducer, is good for when it's, uh, you know, 85 to 100 degrees out. Do you understand that, Charlie? Uh-huh. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, because you were probably wondering what medium is, right? Medium, slow, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of other people. Now, with acrylic enamel, to make it activate, you still, you must use hardener. You don't have to use hardener, but within six months to a year, it's going to fade out and start peeling off. Now, have you ever heard of Earl Shibes, Charlie? Yeah. Okay. Have you ever heard of uh, Mako? You know, paint your car any color, any size, 99, 95 shit. Okay, this is how they would paint it. They would get the $20 gallon of acrylic enamel, and they would get the reducer, but guess what? They wouldn't use that. Okay? So what they're doing here, they're painting your whole fucking car for under 45 bucks, and they're taking a scotch bright like this over here, see? Okay? And sanding your car with that and some soapy water. And that's why the paint didn't last long when you get those type of paint jobs. Okay, I call those used car salesman paint jobs, bud. Do you understand what that means? Yeah. That means if you're gonna sell your car, take it to Mako. Paint it for a hundred fucking dollars and hit the road, okay? So we're gonna do a better deal for Daryl because over at SWRNC over here, let me get my camera around. We like to do things the right way. Whether it's cheap, whether it's gonna be a freebie, or whether it's gonna be a high expensive job, I like to do things the proper way, okay? So, if anybody ever questions Pete and says, uh, are you gonna work on my car like you'd work on yours? Yeah, I fucking am! Okay, I don't treat nobody else different than other people, all right? I work on your car just like it was my fucking car. There, that's your answer now. Okay, are you all right, Charlie? Is everybody cool? Are we cooled down? Jets are off, okay. So we got our acrylic enamel here. Now I'm gonna mix that up for Charlie. Once you mix your acrylic enamel and activate it with the hardener, it's only good for up to eight hours. And what happens, it starts getting hard and gelling up. Basically like this right here. If you look at the inside of that primer, you can see where it's real thick. Yeah. Okay. So what happens, the activator, which is the hardener, starts reacting and it causes the paint to harden. Okay, so these wheels should be, depending on what the other paint was that I mixed with it, it should be a nice high gloss finish. Now, another thing with the cheaper brand paints that you might buy versus, uh, okay, versus PPG, uh, where's, right here, okay. The cheaper paints versus this, the situation you have is it's gonna take more paint than reducer. Because the paint, the reason you're getting it cheap is it's actually thinner quality. The quality of it's cheaper and the paint is thinner, bud. So, uh, my lovely wife, Minnie, your friend, your boss, Minnie, went to buy you a spray gun so you can thank her when she gets back. And uh, Federal Express is here. So, okay, we'll see you later, Charlie. We will be back with you to see how Charlie does paint. Take it easy. This is Pete. Right here, this is Charlie. Does Pete treat you fair, Charlie? Yep. You tell everybody out there that Pete doesn't treat you like an asshole. Yeah. Thank you very fucking much. <laughs> Goodbye. And there you go, wheels on the go, painted black. So we'll be back. This is Pete, Southwest Riding Custom. That's Bruno. We're always here. Right? So take it easy. Have fun. Enjoy what you're doing. See you later.